The hit TLC series, 90 Day Fiancé, continues to enthrall audiences with its portrayal of the United States K-1 visa program, which allows U.S. citizens to sponsor their fiancés for legal residency, all while delving into the complexities of love and cultural wars. Viewers continue to hold a profound interest in the series, displaying an enduring fascination in the lives of the young couples who exchanged vows in front of the camera, as evident by the numerous spin-offs it has spawned. So here's an update on the current status and whereabouts of the couples who first graced the screen during the show's inaugural 2014 season. Paula, a brunette beauty from Colombia, embarked on a life-altering move to assimilate into Russ's quaint small-town existence in Oklahoma. However, their relationship faced initial challenges when they moved in with his conservative parents, and Paula struggled to adapt. Their love story led them to tie the knot in 2013, and they subsequently appeared in TLC's spin-off series Happily Ever After. In January 2019, the couple celebrated the arrival of their first child, Axel. After being together for eight years, the couple made a public announcement in August 2021 that they were temporarily taking a break from their marriage, attributing it to the significant strain the pandemic had placed on their relationship. However, they eventually reconciled and embarked on a fresh beginning by relocating to a new four-bedroom home in Orlando, Florida, nearly a year after their brief separation. This move represented a significant improvement for them, as they had previously lived in an RV for nearly two years during their journey together. Since reuniting, their connection has only grown stronger. Kirliam, who hails from a small Brazilian town, took a major leap when she moved to the United States to Mary Allen, based on just two weeks of in-person interaction before the relocation. The couple's age difference has continued to draw criticism from fans, particularly those who were concerned about Allen meeting Kirliam when she was a teenager. Nevertheless, those negative comments haven't phased the couple, who have carved out a quiet family life for themselves in North Carolina, deliberately staying away from the limelight that usually surrounds 90 Day Fiancé alums. Despite a brief separation during the COVID-19 pandemic, their marriage persevered. Kirliam chose a path focused on parenthood rather than pursuing a modeling career, while Alan wears multiple hats as a project manager at an engineering firm and a freelance graphic designer. Today, the couple is a family of four with two sons, Liam and Enzo. Their marriage remains strong, with the duo celebrating their 10th anniversary this September. Divorcee Indianapolis native Lewis fell in love with Filipino beauty Aya after meeting on an online dating site in 2012. As their romance flourished, Aya encountered a formidable hurdle as she didn't want to leave her life in the Philippines to acclimate to Lewis' Western life. Lifestyle. However, they eventually decided to establish their home in the United States, primarily driven by Lewis' commitment to being a father to his two sons. Following their marriage in 2014, Lewis and Aya celebrated the arrival of two sons, Giovanni and Stefano. Today, this couple remains steadfast and resilient, avoiding the spotlight and prioritizing their private life over fame. Their journey has had its challenges, but they continue to thrive, residing in Indiana with their kids. Mike and Aziza began as friends, and their romantic bond flourished after they connected through a language learning website. Prior to Aziza's arrival from Russia, Mike's friends voiced concerns that his online girlfriend might have ulterior motives related to a green card. Despite facing criticism from friends and family, they decided to marry in 2013. Their journey took a pivotal turn, when almost six years into their marriage, they celebrated the arrival of their daughter Olivia Joan in 2019. Their seemingly solid life took a downward turn when Mike faced charges for possessing and distributing child sexual abuse material earlier this June. The allegations suggest that he had the content on his desktop computer from February 2022 to March 2023, including an image of a prepubescent child who was not even 12 years old. If proven guilty, the father of one might get up to 20 years for each of the two charges. In response to the news of Mike's indictment, he has deleted all traces of his social media, while Aziza has made her Instagram account private. Interestingly, the latter's Facebook page under the name Aziza Eloshwe still features romantic pictures of her and Mike from over the years. The fact that these images remain accessible on her public Facebook account indicates that despite the difficulties they're currently facing, the couple has chosen to remain steadfast in their relationship. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.